Welcome to Applied Food Science and Engineering with Prof. Vigent. Chocolate is one of the most fascinating substances that we find in the kitchen from a material science perspective. Why? It comes in a bunch of different forms. And I don't mean just milk chocolate versus dark chocolate. I mean that the exact same chocolate can have different melting points, different appearance, and different material behavior depending on its history. What you see here are three pretty identical bowls of dark chocolate chips. I've melted two of them so they start at 100F. I put one in the fridge and left one to cool at room temperature. What happens now? Well, 10 minutes in the fridge brings the previously melted chocolate a touch below room temperature. At the same temperature, I can pick up and hold the chips from the bag. And my fingers don't get all chocolatey. If I touch that chocolate I re-solidified in the fridge, it melts all over my fingers instantly. It's solid-ish, but not as solid as it used to be. But the ingredients haven't changed. What has? By cooling the melted chocolate rapidly, I've switched which crystal formation its cocoa fat, aka cocoa butter, is in. This molecule can crystallize in a number of different conformations. The crystal form we got from sticking the chocolate in the fridge was form 4, or beta 1 prime. Not only is form 4 chocolate sticky because it melts at the slightest touch, over time it will recrystallize into form 5, giving us bloom and larger crystals that make the chocolate grainy. The generally agreed upon ideal for chocolate is a melting point right around body temperature, a resistance to bending that leads it to snap rather than crump, and a texture that is neither too hard nor too soft nor too grainy. You get this by treating your chocolate so it solidifies into crystal form 5, aka beta 2. This process is called tempering. To get to form 5 chocolate, first you melt it thoroughly without burning it. You add tempered chocolate, a small amount, to form seed crystals and allow it to cool to 81F. You then rewarm it, ideally only to 88, and finally let it cool. The final result of well-tempered chocolate will be stable for a long time, shiny, snappy, and yummy! All thanks to material science.